there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragomania Legends. Before we get straight into the game, I just wanted to let you guys know that on the Dragomania Legends official wiki, there is actually a page right here that has a bunch of pictures of like things in the new updates and stuff like that. And there is this new dragon that is on there which is called the Castle Dragon I believe. And this is it as a baby and he actually looks really really well designed and on top of that they even have the adult picture of him and so people have been speculating that maybe this guy is the dragon that we get when the clan reaches a certain level you know how there's like an egg in the middle of the clan fortress I'll show you in a minute but if you want to keep up to date with some of the latest stuff then I will send you the link to that page with all the new pictures and that because it's really interesting to just look through them all. And here we are over here. There's actually an egg in the middle of the fortress right here. So people have been saying that maybe that's the clan dragon. But I'm not so sure about that. And the new dragons that I talked about in the last video. Apparently the dice dragon isn't actually a clan dragon. And you could just breed it normally. But people are saying you can breed all of the clan dragons normally, so I'm not really too sure what's going on. Again, we'll find out when we get the update. But, before we go on to anything else now, we might as well get on to hatching this little guy. And look at the design on this egg. It looks like it's a basketball player or something. But this is actually the shooting star dragon. It said wishes made on falling stars come true, but this trainer's... N this trainer has never had any luck wishing on the shooting star dragon to stop falling all over him in greeting. Well, that's nothing to complain about. It's like, oh, look at this thing that loves me oh so much. It's a terrible thing. Look at this cute little dragon that wants to love. That wants my love. But he can't reach the food, the poor thing. That is literally what that description is saying. But I love the colour blue and this guy really really does look kind of amazing with like his blue highlights in his... That's not really his hair but like his fin, if you want to call it that, I don't know. Let's feed him up a little bit. But just look at how nice this dragon is. Like the orange and blue on this guy actually goes really well together because they're really nice colours. Ooh, we even got a gem there. But I just really like the design on this guy, and again, we only got him because I decided to do a mini pack opening when we had a bunch of gems, and we got him just randomly during the event time, so that's not too bad. And I'm still trying to breed this Lark Dragon, obviously that's not too good there. We only have two days left to breed him. And it is the Cloud and Sunflower Dragons, but we just haven't gotten very lucky yet. Hopefully we get him. If not, I'm not going to be too fussed, because honestly, I don't like the Luck Dragon that much. But, I mean, obviously, it's a waste of time, me just sitting here and trying to breed him and not getting anything. But, what can you do? What can you do? <clears throat> And I did have to remove a few people from my clan the other day since there are a few people that literally just haven't played the game in forever. And give me a second. <coughs> the enemy is dying. I am dying very much. Uh, but this is ending in 53 minutes and 40 seconds, the settle the score for the arena. Battle in, in the arena to add to your clan's score. Paul is apparently the MVP at the moment. Uh, how much do we have for card packs? Not a lot. I keep expecting to see the dice dragon here and the verdant, but obviously that wouldn't happen. And... That's right, we are in Dragon Scale League 2, so it's actually pretty important for us to build up our... Our what's some mahu? Our... Our points. I don't know why... I always struggle to think of the word for that. But we need to build up our points so that then we actually do get the Celestial Dragon. It's taken forever to get back here. 
So we just need to focus and not get lazy this time. And plus this is going to help us with our clan points obviously. So I am not too fussed about doing this. And we cannot kill this Stardust Dragon straight up. Which is a shame. Doesn't matter anyway. It's not like our team is going to struggle with these dragons yet. Maybe some of the harder fights. But apart from that, not really. But there we go. And I am pretty dead because it's quite early in the morning since my mother woke me up at like 6am on my day off of work because she's going in for a operation today. And apparently she has to wait at the hospital for like 7 hours before they'll actually do her surgery so I don't actually know what's happening there. All I know is waking me up at 6am on the day I'm not meant to be up early really does kill me. I don't blame her, but I was not the happiest chappy at the time, as you can imagine. But I still don't get it, why does it take so long just to go in for surgery? It's not like life-threatening surgery or anything for her. And yet, like, <coughs> why am I dying? But they told her she had to be at the hospital for 7am. And it is now, I don't know what time it is, but she's already been there for a good while. And then apparently it's going to be like 3 o'clock until anything actually gets done. So you tell me. I, I don't know what the gist of that is. Like I get that there's a big waiting list because a lot of people need like hospital help. But I didn't think that it took like 7 hours of waiting to get there. Although that being said... The last time I went to the hospital, they literally made me wait 25 to 30 minutes. I went in with the doctor for literally two minutes, and then he just said, oh yeah, I'll send you a letter in the post, and then I went home. It took me an hour to get there. Like, what is the deal? I've come to the conclusion that since... That was a total fla failure. I am just gonna wait until like my legs give way, so then I'm forced into the hospital. So then they can't just like say, "Oh yeah, we'll deal with it another time." I mean, I don't suggest you do that. I'm an idiot, so I don't do what I do. But I just like hate the hospital system, even though the one in this country is actually pretty damn good. But it's just waiting and waiting and waiting. God damn. Really is annoying. <clears throat> I'm mostly annoyed because I have to go and pick up my mum after her surgery. And I have no idea when that's going to be. I thought it was going to be like midday. But if it ends up being like 5pm, then what the hell am I going to do? At that time, like some public service might not even be running as frequently. I mean, I know most days it does, but like, if they have like a hospital thing or something, I don't know. Those are my struggles for today. There's my hatred for all public service in a nutshell. Although I still have to like public transport, says how else would I get around since I don't drive yet? <clears throat> that is something I need to do. I need to learn how to drive. Like I get the gist of it. <coughs> you got the gear stick, you got the brum brum pedal. Now you know I'm just joking, I know that it, it's not like that. Don't think I'm like some massive retard that calls that the Brom Brom pedal, please. <clears throat> like, don't take me fully seriously on that, please. I don't want that like written on my gravestone, like when I die. It's like my memorable quote for my life. That would not be fun. 
Uh, you know what? I might do another round of these fights. Because we're getting into some of the more difficult ones here. Wait, what am I doing? No. I don't even know! But these ones might actually cause us to have to worry about what we're doing. Since all the other fights that we just did obviously took like no effort at all. Uh, let's just kill the tribal for now. And if I sound a bit weird then, I don't know. It's like if every morning that I wake up I just have a blocked nose. I don't know why. It's not like I'm sick. It's been like that for a while as well. Just every morning when I wake up I just feel like I'm ill. Maybe I do need to go to the hospital after all. I think that that was called One Piece Dragons. Well, I guess we do have some anime weebs playing this game after all. And I'm not saying that in necessarily a bad sense either if you are indeed an anime weeb. But I actually don't know what's going to happen in like what what's the date? Is it the 6th today? I think it's the 6th. In 4 days uh a big game is coming out for the PlayStation 4. Uh that's a game that I've been playing for years, like the old versions, and apparently that game has like a review of 94 out of 100, and it's not even released yet. So chances are I am going to be spending a lot of time playing that game. I don't know how much Dragon Mania content I'm going to be making during that time, but like, I am seriously going to be spending all my time playing that game. By the way, those fights are just way too hard for us, so let's not bother with that. Um, so what else are we going to do? How many points did we just get? Yes, we're the MVP now. Suck on it. Now, someone else is probably going to surpass us in 45 minutes. Let's have a look. 1,000 points ahead. Like, someone could easily do that in less than an hour. I guess we just gotta hope and pray, you know? And how many friendship points do we have? We still have 328, so we're pretty far off the extra gems. And this stupid magma layer is becoming a pain. Because I need dragons that are level 26. So if we feed this guy to level 26, that leaves us with 38,000 food. And then we've still got this guy to level up. And then we've still got this guy to level up. So what do you want me to do, game? Do you seriously want me to spend like 1 million food on just the, the lair? Just so that I could get Kronos? Like, come on, I have been playing this game non-stop and I still don't have the final Kronos piece. This is ridiculous. It should not take a year and a half to get one piece for Kronos. Like, what are the actual percentage chances on that? I've never actually looked into it, but it is beginning to annoy me greatly. Like, a lot. And if today's reward was not the Kitsune Dragon, I might have been willing to do this. And it's actually worth buying two times the dungeon token multiplayer ever. Like when I normally have a lot of gems. Would it ever be worth doing this? I don't know. I really don't know. <sighs> but anyway... We've done quite a few fights in this video, and I do have another Dragon Mania video that I am going to be recording in the next few minutes. It's a little bit different from just regular stuff, it's just a little bit of fun. So I'm going to go skedaddle for now and go ahead and do that. So I'm glad we got a shooting star. And if you have any questions, obviously, feel free to leave them in the comments or send me a message on Facebook. Just whatever, really. So, good luck 
for now with your breeding, and until next time, I will see you guys then.